So I've set myself two challenges to complete over the next seven to 10 days. And I'm gonna be doing these at the start of the training block and then repeat it at the end of the training block. So in and around that Christmas week. Bottoms up. Now these two challenges include a fast 5k time trial and a fast tempo run. I'm going back to my roots and I'm going to have some fun because back in the day, every year, I'd use this end of the year not only to have fun, I've got my structure in place, I've got my plan to kickstart next week, but this is all about relaxing, logging some miles, having some fun. And what I used to do all the time was a couple of challenges. And what I want to do at the start of this block, actually kickstarting potentially Saturday, depending on how today goes is get the 5k time trial done this weekend on Saturday and then the tempo run done next weekend and I'm going to tell you all about that after this workout what I want to do today is get this first workout done the green gates behind me I said we'll see you later this week uh, for a first uh, workout back into things I'm excited to get this one done we've got 20 by one minute on one minute off today I might call it a 15 10 I'll just see how I feel which is why I need the caffeine ketone IQ shot I feel well this morning already so that should be the little boost that I need to really attack this one. So today is all about ironing the kinks out, see how I feel, see how the marathon has treated me. I felt really good post-marathon. I've had a week off, I'm getting back into things now. And rather than my usual Tuesday, Thursday workouts, uh, this week is my sort of first week back running. So I'm just gonna do this one today on Wednesday and then obviously the 5K time trial potentially on Saturday. And as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be doing one now and then one at the end to see if there's any improvement over these first eight weeks. I don't expect a vast improvement, but what I'd like to feel is at least the efforts feel a darn sight easier by the time we get to that end point. So without further ado, we're going to get into this workout, get this one done. We're going to flip the hat around. I don't know if I can do it seamlessly. No. Oh, there we go. Kind of. We've got the Insta360 here. So we're going to film this one. I'll take you on the journey and then we're going to get back to the office. I'm going to show you the courses that we're going to be doing for these two runs, why we're doing them and what excites me about them. So let's get this one started. And go. Okay, the Insta camera, di camera died at rep 11. See so you back on the GoPro. Oh, all good so far. Very fast, feeling good. But as always with these ones, <laughs> gone out a little bit too hard. Three more. It's definitely harder coming back this way. Much more uphill. Three to go. Last one. We're going to finish with a hill wrap. Unbelievable. What a place to finish. Ah, oh, you don't get that type of work during marathon training that was awesome so to my surprise a lot of those on the way out were in the high force which uh, I was hoping for a, a few to get in there but I didn't expect quite so many and even a couple on the way back as well so as you saw with the footage what I'll probably do is upload that sort of 11 reps in its entirety onto the extra channel so if you're interested in seeing like an uninterrupted full flow you can go over there and check it out but the reality is that heading out that way is a net downhill there are rollers but ultimately you finish quite a bit lower than you do here and as you saw then we finished on the top of that hill uh, back there rather than at the green gate down here and as i expected 12 and 13 were a bit slower they were uphill and then got it back together a few dog walkers on the way back I had to dodge around but 
overall low fives for most of those I think so yeah that means that I think this Saturday uh, will be all systems go so there we go workout done back at the office with my protein shake this one is coffee flavored and I've got my Bill and Ted's massage gun um, you can tell I'm in a funny mood because I haven't actually drunk this yet I really need coffee but we're going to get into those challenges. I'm really excited for this. We're going back to, let's say, my roots. These are the things that I just love to do. Uh, but today, wow, I was just buzzing. This is the type of workout that you miss when you're doing marathon training. It's really great to be nice and disciplined and controlled and hit marathon split after marathon split and feel really good doing it and you get really fit, obviously. Um, I felt like I was in brilliant shape when I rocked up to Abingdon, but I miss that type of burn, that kind of feeling that just makes your brain and body want to say, stop, stop, but you just keep going. And yeah, it just felt so good out there today. So 20 minutes worth of work banked, um, really fast, very, very happy with how that went on the trails to run sub five for a lot of those splits uh, out there. When it was autumn, quite slippery, the leaves are on the trails. Uh, grip isn't the best. I mean, those shoes are just fantastic. They really are good. And I will put an extra channel video up for those as well. But I think overall today just gave me confidence uh, that I can hit that first challenge this weekend. So uh, yeah, let's talk about it. Okay, so what are the plans for these two challenges? So what I always used to do, and I haven't done it for the last few years, is I used to set myself a couple of goals with a 5k time trial and a tempo run. Something that I used to do pre-GPS watches, I just used to run with a Casio stop watch and I had such good fun basically timing from start to finish how long it took me to do a 5k time trial and of course do my tempo run now neither of which are particularly long in distance obviously a 5k isn't long at all and the tempo run ended up being just shy of five miles I'll show you on screen the main part of the tempo run and then of course the 5k time trial what I used to do with the 5k we'll start with that first is I used to start with a favorable advantage I used to start a little bit further back up the road so I had a nice long downhill start I always used to thrash the first mile and then absolutely be dying on my ass uh, towards the end of that run. So what I planned to do and did in the last time I did a time trial, which was four years ago, uh, was start and finish in the same place. So at least it was equal. It was equal elevation. Uh, and you guys know with the industrial estate, it's not flat in the slightest. There's a good long stretch of it that's relatively flat. But what we're going to be doing is starting in a, at the bottom of a road and then we're going to be going down onto the estate. So the first, I don't know, half a mile is downhill and then we're going the way up the industrial estate where it's the very gentle climb we go around the corner at the car garage and then it's basically uphill to the top of the main road uh, and this is the hard way round, but it's the way that I've always done it and so I don't want to change things now because it's a good way to measure progress over the years we're going to swoop around the top at the main road get up that hill swoop around the top and then we're going to basically glide down the main road come back down onto the industrial estate we're going to tag on the college road which is what we did last time uh, so we'll go up and back to the college so that's going to be a dead end turn then we're going to come down the industrial estate we're going to have a nice kind of down for the most of the third third mile I should say but then we've got about a half a mile climb back up to the finish and the reality is I'm sure the mile splits will be exactly the same as it was like now compared to four or five years ago where the first one ends up being like the fastest uh, the second one is by far the slowest because you've got that climb in there and then the third one is usually the second fastest it's quite close uh, back to the first one but never quite the same so I'm really excited to give that a go what I always found was I was about sort of 15 20 25 seconds off my actual race 5k pb so at the time when i last did it i had just broken 17 minutes i ran 16.58 at the hereford couriers 5k uh, then i ran 17.10 i think it was uh, in the new balance fuel cell tcs if you remember that shoe what a shoe that was one of the most unstable shoes out there but when you got going in that shoe it was an absolute rocket so again my pb i suppose at the moment is 16.05 genuinely if i can get anywhere in and around sort of like 1620 to 1630 i reckon that would be a major achievement out on that industrial estate uh, but anything sort of sub 1640 i will be happy with anything over that i'm going to be honest with you i wouldn't be happy with that at all but we're going to give it a good go so i'm excited to give that one a thrash out and the tempo run well i just want to share a funny screenshot this was for my first year of running i pretty much did that tempo run every single week for four weeks so you can see it's happened four times in a four or five week period there and that was for my first year 
year of running. It's an old loop I used to do, and I do that loop all the time on my easy runs. But what I used to do is start close to my house and then basically run, bomb it down onto the industrial estate, up the big hill. Uh, basically, the easy run loop that I do now in reverse, um, I do this the other way around, so anti-clockwise, where it's more challenging. So you've actually got, although you start and finish in the same place, you're actually doing more climbing on the loop than you are downhill. Whereas now, when I do the easy runs, I tend to get the big climb out of the way and then hop onto the cycle track and then you have sort of like a net downhill back to the industrial estate. Uh, there's more down than up when you do it that way around. Whereas this way, there's more up than down. Back in the day, I was running it in and around 31 minutes and then I broke 30 minutes and I remember the moment that I broke 30 minutes, which was probably about four years ago. I actually can't find that one on my Strava. I found my older ones, but I remember breaking and getting into like 29 mid. Uh, and I don't think I've ever done it since. And I remember running like a sub five minute mile uh, on one of the miles up there and being absolutely over the moon. Well, actually a few of them, I should say, because we did obviously break 30 minutes and the route itself in total was around 4.9 miles. So I remember seeing the fives flash up on my watch, feeling like, oh, this is amazing. I've really progressed as a runner. And as I said, that must have been about three years ago, maybe four, and I haven't done it since. So my plan and for that one is going to fit it in as my Thursday workout, basically week one of this block. I'm going to use it as a workout. Uh, it's just a, basically a solid hard tempo run. I want to see uh, what it feels like to do that route again, bring back all that nostalgia when I literally just used to go out there without a care in the world and just thrash the run uh, and be on my knees at the end of it. Good times. I remember it really well. And as I said, I just want to get out there uh, and have some fun. So although, of course, I structure things a heck of a lot differently these days, and I'm always there to try and improve as a runner it just really has lit my fire inside me to go back and see what I used to do uh, and just have some fun with it as you can see it just made even the thought of it I'm just super super excited so as I said 5k time trial fingers crossed this Saturday I'll uh, record it on the Insta360 hopefully take you around the full course um, and I'll show highlights of it and then maybe I'll upload the whole thing uh, onto the extra channel a little, little bit like what I'm going to do uh, with what I did today and then of course the tempo run that should be good fun as well really excited uh, for that one and as I said I've got a workout planned on Tuesday and then I'll use that one as my Thursday workout and then we'll repeat this after eight weeks probably in and around the Christmas week maybe the week before so it might be seven weeks, uh, probably get the 5k time trial done just before I finish for Christmas and then maybe use the tempo run as my second workout of the week on the Thursday before uh, we finish. So I might swap it around and get the tempo first and then literally make the 5k time trial the last run because then we'll have a three day break for Christmas, come back and then we're straight in to the Hereford Couriers 10k. So we go, super excited for these challenges, can't wait. In fact, actually the 5k time trial one might be the next video you guys see on the channel. I usually try and do four videos a week, but to be honest with you, the kids are still, they had a two week half term uh, this October, which is nuts they've never had that before uh, but the school's changed it and that is the way it is so they're actually on break of course we've got halloween now kids are super excited so i might just sack off the third video this week so the next one you see will probably be the 5k time trial uh, so yeah wish me luck we'll see how that one goes and then back to normal service next week so i appreciate you guys thanks for sticking around for this one thanks for listening to my plans can't wait to share how it goes if you enjoyed this one please do give it a like share it with your friends and of course subscribe to the channel for weekly running content i'll see you on the 5K.